G'day, Chris here from iCamper Australia. You might see we've got the new iCamper SkyCamp Mini. Global release is March 2020, so we're here to put together this video, show you all the good features of it. But, you might notice, I'm actually sitting on the iOx, the all-in-one kitchen system. It is a very cool bit of kit, but we'll get to that later. Righto, so, the iCamper SkyCamp Mini. The beauty about it, and this is great, this is a real game changer, it is compact. It's only 145 long, so even if you want to place it on a full length wagon, you're still going to retain a portion of the roof for any spares or bits and pieces or jerry cans, whatever you may put up there. Everyone has their own different way of, of packing, but 145 long, so it is designed too to go into the tub or sit on top of the tub of the dual cab. So you can sit it at roof height. So obviously it's better for aerodynamics as well. Still two people, uh, caters for two people, one minute setup, 57 kilos. So still quite light um, and very functional. It's very cool. Width of it is 138 wide. So 138 wide. Um, once we fold the floor out, as you'll see, it goes to 210. And by the way, I am talking in centimeters. So very similar, very same as the uh, the 4X, Skycamp 4X. Um, so yeah, we'll open it up, give you a look. So we'll open it up. You notice it's got the same latches uh, as its um, Skycamp 4 and the Skycamp 2X. Uh, we also, this is the Rocky Black model. So Rocky Black has a Line X finish on it. So it's a bit harder wearing, scratch, scratch resistant, um, really meant for the bush. I must say too, we don't have gloss black available in Australia in the Mini. We do have gloss white and your Rocky Black option. So let's get it open and have a look at it. So still folding floor. So another thing too is it is very important that you put the ladder protector on the feet of the ladder when you're packing it up um, and that prevents any damage or preventing the uh, the PVC um, window to go yellow, so important feature. So we just extend the ladder out. Lift up the folding floor panel. And then we adjust the ladder. Now we are working on this uh, trailer, so it's obviously a lot shorter than what your car will be. So after we've adjusted the ladder, um, around 70 degrees too is, a, is, is good for the ladder, which allows the steps to be flattened out, more comfortable on your feet. So, and it is an important part. It's obviously the, the support for the folding floor. So we'll set up the spring rods, put it all together, and, and we'll have a look through it. So spring rods just pick up the eyelets. This is the same as all the models. And then we just come around here and, and put the straps just under there to keep that secure. So again, the mini, does come with the uh, the poles for the side windows, so we extend them out as well. And that can be done when you're inside the tent too, obviously when you're on a bigger vehicle. Let's grab the two remaining poles, they do come in a cover too to keep them all together. So we we'll just open up the window. Fights good ventilation too with this. So you've got your three layers, you've got your storm proof, obviously your mesh which is midgy and mozzie proof and all that, uh, and your clear as well. So you can still have your windows open. Uh, it's good when it's raining too, you can still just have the, you can still just have the, uh, the mesh open while it's drizzling because this does protect it. 
And you've got to love the magpies. Well, all the wildlife we are in the bush. You've got to enjoy it, don't fight it. So there you go. So that's basically all set up. So that's, um, it's got plenty of room for two. Uh, as I said, 145 was the length. We're now sitting at 210 centimetres, which is plenty of room for, uh, you know, for most people, I guess. Uh, another feature of it too is that we have the waterproof zip. So in the event that it is stormy and you are getting a lot of rain that's coming sideways and you haven't been able to spin it around so the hard shell's taking the brunt, you don't really have to worry about it because the canvas, the 300 GSM poly cotton canvas is 100% waterproof and it does have sealed zips. So water's not going to get past the zips either. You will get a range of accessories, uh, same as the others. It'll all zip into the fly. That'll be the annex room, the awning, the vinyl canopy, and you can get the insulation tent for this model as well. So that's the colder climates for the guys down in Tassie or those uh, you know up in the snow during winter and that type of thing. It does make a big difference. They've done a lot of improvement on the inners, and uh, it, it sure does make it more warm. And here we are in the Sky Camp Mini. What an awesome tent. So I wanted to show you a few features. Like plenty of room. Look at the room for it. It's, uh, you know, it's 210 long. I mean, I can, you know, I can stretch out. It's really cool. Got the window up here so you can look at the stars, let some light in. And how's the map? You can have a look to see, you know, plan out your travels of the world or down in Australia. Uh, the other features that I want to go through is it's got built-in pockets, so both sides, pockets in there, so keys, phones, all that sort of gear. Your three-layered windows, you've got your tinted PVC here if you really want to zip it up, um, you know, if it's stormy or whatever. Um, but you still got your cover over the window, you've got your mozzie-proof, midgy-proof netting. Uh, this is really cool, this is really cool. Mattress, very comfortable mattress memory foam i mean this is you know it's beautiful it's great to sleep on it's um it's 4.5 centimeters thick so 4.5 centimeters thick the floor the floor is still the honeycomb 408 kilo rated that's a lot of weight in a little mini but anyway it's still made of all the same quality quality materials as we're used to with the sky 4x and the sky 2x now these things too so you should know what they are by now they are strut locks, so obviously rated to 64 kilometer hour winds, but in the event that it is gusty and it is windy, all you do is snap them into place, into the, into the strut, and that'll lock it. So obviously you want all the weather coming from your hard shell. It does protect it, it makes it very quiet and, uh, and a really cool uh, to sleep in. Now, if we've glanced over stuff that you really want to know or we've missed something, uh, we try to, our best to obviously point out all the features and you know give you the best view of it and all the rest of it, but head to the comments. Leave comments there, we will answer it. So, um, you know, comment on it, um, tell us what you like about it, all the rest of it. Um, whatever you want to know, other videos you want to show us, you know, do you want us in the pouring rain and the wind one day? Let's do that. Let us know. Any of the comments we take on board. So, good to catch up with you all again. And uh, yeah, this is it. The launch of the Sky Camp Mini. Well, here we have it. The IOX, the all-in-one kitchen system. So, we just want to give you a brief introduction to it. You will see a new video coming up in the next few weeks where we're going to take it out, test it, put it over the tracks, cook with it, do some demonstrations in real life scenarios. But really good piece of kit. 50 litres of storage, you can get accessories for it, cooler bags to go in there, utensil rack and all that type of thing. A light stand so you've got a nice LED light spread over while you're cooking. Uh, two really good burners, good quality, built by Covia, which is a really well known um, camping and hiking uh, supplier, manufacturing out of Korea. Um, birch wood bench tops, um, you know, so easy to clean, waterproof, doesn't matter if they get wet, won't swell or anything like that. But just a really well finished piece of kit. Two burners, perfect, plenty of storage, pack it all away and I'll pack it all away in a minute. And uh, you know, really good sturdy wheels too. So you roll it down the beach or roll it over a track, wherever you've got to go camping. 
Do you can keep everything in it. You can get your pots and pans and your plates and your knives and forks, all your utensils, a couple of cool drinks and bits and pieces all in one. So it's all you need to get out of the back of the four wheel drive and your home and hose to do some good cooking. But let's pack it up. So basically, fold over the top, unscrew the legs. The legs have adjusters so you can, um, if you're on an uneven ground, you can, you can uh, adjust those. So let's just fold it over, take the leg out first. So we just take these legs out, they're just on springs. They're the burners, so canisters screw into those, but we'll take you through that when we make the next video. Pop your legs in there. Take the last piece of the top, locates on there, and then we've just got some positive clips. Secure that. So the main body of it's manufactured by, by a uh, powder coated aluminium, so it won't rust. Uh, so down the beach and those sort of things, all good as gold. So, uh, so that really wraps it up, but we'll take you through and, uh, and cook on it uh, and show you what it's all about. Hopefully you can hear me over the uh, lorikeets feeding in the background, but anyway, we're in the bush and that's Australia. For more information on all our products and to find your nearest dealer, visit our website, icamperau.com.au. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and remember to subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button, and don't forget to hit that bell, and you'll be notified when we upload new videos. iCamper, love people, love nature. And before you go, we just thought we'll mention this because we get a lot of people wanting to know about these trailers. They are cool, but they are in prototype stage. They're nothing to do with iCamp. We just use them to present the iCampers on. Now, apparently they're gonna have all sorts of gear with them. You're gonna have options of drawers and, and all sorts of gear, but they are prototype as soon as they're released we will put you in contact with the company. But if you've got any inquiries or you want to comment on them or you know any information, we'll help you. Put it in the comments and, uh, and, and we'll reply to them. And as soon as we have all the details and the company has the release of the trailers, we will put you in contact with them. So rest assured, you'll, uh, you'll be seeing them, hopefully by the end of the year. But uh, very good little trailer. Um, you know, we've been towing them around you know, just working with the iCamper range and, you know, they really are a pretty good unit. So in the comments, just, yeah, anything you want to say, want to know, information, all the rest of it, um, ask us the questions. We'll try and answer them the best that we can, but we will put you in contact with the company in due course.